five four three two one yes i am the one and you are here too and you know what we about to do yes this is the connect 360 in the building we about to make moves really swiftly yes yes come on in jay come on in hey so you already know who i am i'm d jackson all about making things happen we want to make sure that all y'all can hear us out there really clear so tune in uh, on the comment section right now we are going live we are at the fresh air network on facebook the fresh air network make sure you tune in if you want to you got comments make sure you tune in right there and also you can find us make sure you follow us uh, at the connect 360 on facebook the fresh air network on facebook hey just hashtag fresh air network and you, you'll find us so anyway we're about to get this show up and rolling get into the topic that's air with an E. Air with an E, baby. And 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 uh, we're about to get into this topic right now. And I got some beautiful people with me. And I want to introduce a special lovely guests. First of all, we got our, our one of the main people that we always have. You know, Justice. Get Justice. 360 in the building. Say what's up, Jay. What's popping, man? Peace. What's going on, everybody out there? Yeah, Jay been so making who, boss moves. Yeah, peace, peace, peace to everyone out there. Also, we got the one and only, uh, Co- is it Coco Lava? Is it uh, Sylvia? What, what is it the, these the, days? The woman what? with many names. The woman, okay. <laughs> many attributes and many things going on. You can call me Coco, but f- for purposes of this, you can absolutely call me Sylvia. Whatever you want, want me to be right now. Sylvia. <laughs> Sylvia. Peace and blessings, everyone. Good to be here. And then, of course, you know, behind the... The guy that makes it all happen, the wizard from the Wiz and the Wizard of Oz. You already know we got Kavan over here in the building as well. Hey, peace. Representing Fresh Air Network. So we're going to get right into it, people. We're going to get this show right going because uh, <laughs> this is a really important one. So today's topic, we're talking about tech trends that threaten black progress. Technology trends that threaten black progress. This is important, a very, very important topic because technology is everywhere, right? Mm. In fact, we're using technology. We're using this technology right now. Facebook, Internet. Uh, if, you don't, if you're not using it, you're going to get left behind. Mm-hmm. So today we're going to get in. So before we get in, oh, let's, let, let me let y'all know exactly how the show is going to roll so y'all can be in tune. Okay. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to get into some of the news hot topics. We're going to be talking about some really trend, some really awesome trends that are going on. And then after we talk about those trends, we're going to get directly into the topic. And some of those topics that we're going to cover today, you should see right on top. We're going to talk about how to train our children to innovate versus being consumers. We're going to talk about, you know, things about how technology is threatening the black community and what what can we do, you know, to overcome technology addictions and things like that. And overall, we're going to have a lot of fun. Is that cool? That's cool. Sounds good. All right. Let's go. All right. So let's get into it. So very first thing, let's hit up some news topics. Have y'all seen um, that was, everybody know the mannequin, you know, there's all these viral videos going on. So recently, the, the latest one right now is the mannequin challenge. Mm-hmm. And so recently, there was about 20 black men that were arrested for the mannequin challenge. They were, uh, did y'all see that one? No, nah, why were they arrested? What? All right, so so in the video, and, and the video, if y'all want to see the video, y'all can uh, actually go to Connect 360 page if y'all want to see the video. But on the video, it's basically, you got about 20 dudes there. You could, They look like they're definitely in the hood somewhere, you know. Mm-hmm. And in this particular video, they're basically, it's like they're doing a shootout with each other. You know, so you got like six guys coming out of van and age pointing guns. And it's about 13 dudes that's in the house pointing guns back at the van. And that's pretty much all the video was. You know, they were just okay. trying to do a standoff type of thing. And it's, of course, everybody's staying still because it's the mannequin challenge. Mm. But the police use that. And, it, and it's videos of the police that are talking about this that are saying, hey, so, yeah, we were using technology. So they're saying how they're using this technology to find people. And specifically, they found these guys, and they arrested them, and they did, like, a, like the next day, showed up with, like, the ATF. Wow. Yeah, and just came in, did a raid. They raided the guys the next morning, you know, and took all the guys. Now, what's crazy wow. about it, though, some of the guys, if you were in that house, even if you weren't in the video, mm-hmm. and you didn't have a gun, you're still catching a conspiracy charge because you're there. 
you know, that's how they're doing a lot of these they call these all in laws. They saying, well, you you are affiliated with a gang member or a criminal, so that well, we gonna throw something on. Did you they too. find weapons in the house? Well, I mean, they 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 found some weapons. I don't know all the details of everything they found, but they found some weapons. What Definitely was the weapons. what was the charge? So there were identified gang members, a part of a mannequin challenge. One. And then two, everyone had assault weapons, rifles, all of that going on. And so they got them on weapons charges too? Illegal weapons charges? Well, you know how they do with black folks. You know, they'll they throw like four or five charges on you, you know, for, for one thing that you did. They probably didn't probably I don't know all of what they well, call that, that's a little skeptical. And this was in Chicago. No, nah, it's not Chicago. I don't okay. know I don't know what city it was in. You know, it, it, but it definitely looked like it was a it was a trap. You know, well, like a if lot they of, a found lot of weapons in the house, they should be also charged with stupidity. Mm. So we can start right there. Because mm -hmm. you shouldn't be okay. waving stuff. Yeah. Uh, so what? I often say, how much did. <laughs> 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 how, how, well, they got charged. Yeah. How, I wonder, how much do, is that? Should that be a felony or a misdemeanor? should be, man. <laughs> What, what do you think? Well, you're waving, you're well, tagging well. yourself in pictures. You, mm -hmm. you geolocations on your phone. Mm -hmm. You tell them where you are. You in front of your crib. What yeah. Are, what are they in front? Like they in front of? Were they at their homes or? Well, I don't know who home it was. They in front of some building. It's a home. We okay. don't know who home it was. We don't know who. So lived somebody there. had to post it. So okay, I know mm -hmm. where you are. Exactly. Well, and they raided up your name, that man. house. I got to know I, where your friends are. I got a different spots. I got a different way of looking at it. Um, just based off the story that you just said, uh -huh. how do you know that that wasn't a set? Exactly. exactly. And, and they having a movie. Exactly. And That's, anytime you right. have movies, you don't have to clear with your neighborhood that you having a movie in front of your house. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. Mm -hmm. Second Private thing property. is that it's, mm -hmm. it's the conspiracy piece and the actual term of let me show other people what will happen when Black men get together. Mm -hmm. Now, which and if it was a bunch of people, which house do they know who to raid? Oh, I'm seeing it here. Okay, okay. The, the, Go ahead, yeah. So, so this is the thing, though, because mannequin challenges. See, this is the thing. I've seen a lot of mannequin challenges. Some of them are funny. Right. Some of them are serious. So who's to say what the context, see, this is my first time really seeing this, but who's to say what the context of this mannequin challenge was? Because I've seen mannequin challenges about I can't breathe. I've seen mannequin challenges where it's like, ha, ha, he, he. So was this supposed to be a, a message mannequin challenge where it's about guns in the community? Or was this just sh some dude well, showing well, off? Okay. For he, he, here's the thing. What was I'm, look, I'm looking projects. at this. Yeah, they're definitely the project. I'm looking at this on a bigger level. And yeah. the bigger level meaning criminal okay, a lot of a lot of young black guys especially. Oh, okay, there's a trend about snitch self snitching on themselves on video. A lot of them think it's cool to go on video and t and put pull out guns. Like it's it's a mm. thing that I mean Soldier Boy has been doing it crazy all this last week. Like it's it's and it's a way to, for them to get attention. And black people, historically, we've done a lot of that. We do things just to get attention. Mm -hmm. In you front know. of your crib. In, in front weapon. of the crib. Well, they got a lot of attention. Come on, man. <laughs> Well, you they know, definitely got the attention. There's no defending that. That's not a movie I set. mean, that's, that's just like cases where you get, like the case we talked about a little while back, where you had the dudes, they robbed the house for like $300,000 in jewelry, and they went to the pawn shop, sold it for $3,000, and then made a video about it right. on, on Instagram saying, yeah, look at all this money, showing the money, mm -mm, trying to get no, attention, no. and then they want to sell a mixtape, you know. And so... <laughs> This is something that we got to leave in 2016. So this we're going to be giving some some rules about technology, things that we need to change and leave in 2016 because 2017 we got to realize that they that the that the police force they're using almost anything mm -hmm. to be able to incriminate us. Mm -hmm. And like I said, especially even if you're not even participating in it, but your friend is doing it and you in the house, they'll find ways to give you the Bobby Smurda. Mm -hmm. You the know, company you keep. the company you where you under conspiracy, like right now, Bobby Smurda is still in jail. He's doing six, seven years for a conspiracy charge mm -hmm. right now because of the people he's affiliated with. So we, we, we got to leave that in 2016 for real. 
there is there are already so many things that law enforcement and we'll, we'll just say the system and things can use against you. You don't want to voluntarily give anybody any one thing, any iota on top of that. And with Facebook, you know, being of course, this is Facebook Live. They everywhere. I mean, there's not one person that you can't identify in that feed right there. Yeah. Why? Why would you do that to you yourself? Know, and then you have the facial recognition software. So mm -hmm. exactly. You know, I'm sure they tagged each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In that, so you know, you and, just, and just look Facebook, up your name. You Facebook will tag you automatically. Uh, you and, didn't and, recognize automatically, your face. right? Yeah. And, and now that's now that's another major thing. Yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that. So Facebook snitching on you with the facial recognition. Yeah. So, you know, you it's hard to deny that when they got video proof. And exactly. You, you know what I mean? Even or your if, name. <laughs> your name you pop up name right there in the video. <laughs> and you use your real name right. on Facebook. You know, <laughs> and, and just keep in mind, we talked about this last week. Now you got Sony. They just did their uh, trademark on the recordable contact lenses. And so you got other companies like that. So now it's going to a whole nother level where people. Wait, talk about that again. What's that? <laughs> recordable contact lenses. Recordable what? contact lenses. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let's say that again. So you have a contact lens in, and it's recording everything I see as I see it. Right. And then, and then before you know it, wow. it, it might be able to have fake face recognition on those, yeah. and they might not even be live. You know what I just thought about? Yeah, Did it. they ever tech test the? frequency in which the information from your eyes that's surrounded by water which is the you know your mm. how that may affect the frequency that's right next to your brain mm. you get me because yeah. you know everything that's around us basically are oh, you uh, talking about the health effects of the health effects like that yeah. in the, your the, eye. the energy of yeah first of all the contacts live in in water in water Okay, that's and one thing. Now you have a technological device that is transferring something out of it to right. something else. What are the effects that's going to happen long term, short term of the energy that's being transferred mm -hmm. from one place like to the other? Like the electromagnetic waves. We talk about electromagnetic yeah. chaos yeah. all the time, and that's just with phones, computers, everything they that's around us. They tell you not to put it next to your uh -huh. ear or not to put it, you know, when you get gas. <laughs> so yeah. no, I'm just I just thought about that. And what women, are some especially of the talking about all the women that put their they cell phone right here next to their breasts. Yep. You know your mammary glands, putting it. And I even um, you know think about putting it in your pocket when you over in your reproductive area. I mean we talking about technology uh, well, used for good, mm -hmm. but all of this stuff affects everything in our body. Well, I mean if you get into Subtly. Dilbert Blair, he spoke about even. When you drive in your car and when you sitting in that car, how your radiation. car mm -hmm. is connected to that radiation of the mm -hmm. engine and the electricity and how you need to have like these diodes. He was talking about some type of diode that mm -hmm. was supposed to, I guess, balance out or eliminate some of the radiation. Kind of yeah. it absorbs it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It cancels it out. You should have mm -hmm. diodes on your phones. You know, it's, exactly. It's like diodes for your phone, diodes for other electrical devices or electronic devices. So. You know, another now this is kind of mystical. So some people might not look into the metaphysics, but they say even silver has absorption ability, like and then mm -hmm. certain crystals in terms of if it's certain negative energy and mm -hmm. frequencies how it's supposed to absorb that. So mm -hmm. I, I even recommend, you know, some people get them a little bit of silver, a silver chain or silver bullion or something. Keep that with you. I got a, I got a question. I this agree. came to me. How do you think or what do you think the line is between spirituality or the spirit of a thing and technology intersect or come together mm. you get what i'm saying because technology mm -hmm. is based off of science most times right mm -hmm. science is based off of um, factual universal natural laws and energy and things of that nature right so when is the slippery slope kind of of um is there any kind of correlation between them? I think definitely, because I think, first of all, spirit is, is to me, a technology mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. itself. Spirit mm -hmm. is technology. I'm just asking. But on a, but a whole, on a whole other frequency, right? Because when your spirit is pure and only if you're on a high vibration with the food you're eating and you your, your got a pure heart, they say it gets to the point where you can even have a certain level of telekinesis and even being able to... What's that? Telekinesis. Telekinesis is terms of communicate with people without speaking. Like, for example, I, I walk, I'm walking down the street while I'm sitting on the bus and I see another brother 
he I look at him, he look at me without us saying anything. We kind of send each other a message and we can be able to receive that about, you know, whatever's going on, mm-hmm. you know, and, and that's that's a major thing. If your spirit, if you're pure, you're not t- drinking or toxic Telep- telepathy, like telepathy, telepathy. 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 move things. Move like right. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. We levitate. We levitate things. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Well, well, that's and not that, too far from. And that's not too far from it. Right. Right. You know, but uh, but yeah, d- definitely, and 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 that's what Bobby Hemmett talks about a lot in terms of on the on the spiritual side, how a lot of the technology here, how this is really low level technology in terms of being able to, you know, communicate with the phones and the computers because it's a low fre- lower frequency, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and if we get too absorbed in it, you know, it keeps our frequency low, but if we can detach from these things, then be able to raise our vibration and access other realms and dimensions and you know even tap in with the ancestors i think it's interesting because you you ask in how they intersect so all of these things are outside of ourselves these phones these computers these everything is is just is outside these are extensions of ourselves these things should be used to amplify what's our, our already inherent ability but instead we become slaves to these things and we're all absorbed into our phone and so we we instead of letting this amplify what's already in us we're, we're reversing that energy. We big, absorbed big. in it. I think and whatever the content that somebody else gives us on these devices. And it, I think it's all based off of, of the physical aspect mm-hmm. of, of the thing. It's not the spiritual aspect of it. The physical aspect is we always want to see, smell, taste, feel, mm-hmm. and see Gotta it to believe it, mm-hmm. as opposed to understanding the essence of a thing. Mm-hmm. And being in tune with that, mm-hmm. which gives you way more information than you ever will get physically. Mm-hmm. So we kind of walked into this situation of let me see it or else I don't believe it. Mm-hmm. And if I don't believe it, then it ain't real. Mm-hmm. So that keeps you on a certain frequency or level mm-hmm. of thinking that never will get you closer to the spirit of a thing. Right. Because that's the only one dimension. Yeah. Well, and, and, yeah. and and when you think about it, all the greatest technology is designed based on the human body, right? Like even engines in the car, they came up with the engine based on studying the heart, you know what I mean, and, and the whole circulatory system of the body. And mm-hmm. they was duplicated that into an engine. You know, a lot of the, the cameras that we're using is based on how the human eye works. And the computer based off the brain. And the computer yeah. based off the yeah. brain. Yeah. So yeah. the technology... I'm I'm is based off of we got your some smart little people out there. Yeah. Get on out of here. It's, it's your spirituality good. and your intelligence and your science. That's what the tech, their technology is based off your science. It's based off our science. So, for example, when I walked in here, I saw flocks of birds flying synchronized together going where they go south to so the birds flying south. I don't know if y'all know at this well, time. They, of year, they, they do that. that every time they fly. But yeah. <laughs> no, I'm serious. But in but, synchronicity, they fly but to together. see them fly in these large groups, mm-hmm. though, mm-hmm. you know, and then us, we'll be so disconnected trying to do everything individually versus, you know, when you see animals, you get an ant or you get a bee when they it's like they transform to a whole nother entity when they're together mm-hmm. it's a whole nother force they form one they form they one, like, one like megatron and, 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 bees on a swarm. and the, 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 the bees. concept and i've, I've learned it just because you mentioned that the concept of they innately fly in that fashion because on a science basis mm-hmm. when they fly on an angle like this it helps them not to use as much energy mm-hmm. because they're flying as one. Right. So one mm-hmm. another person's flap or another person, another person's <laughs> wing, yeah. wing flap helps somebody behind gotcha. him. Mm-hmm. Aerodynamics, with, brother. Which mm-hmm. which aerodynamics mm-hmm. is nothing but a form of science, which right. is nothing but a form of so, how the spirit so, works. So therefore, like in business, I guess we can use the power of like team uh, momentum and collaboration and be able to get further working together. Absolutely. Is how that can relate. And they do it. Not that, not that, that somebody told them. It's natural. Yes. It's, it's, it's a natural. natural. It's an instinctive, it's instinctive thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay. So in other, okay. in other news, I don't know if y'all see, but uh, Mike Epps was at a show recently and one of the fans approached him on stage <laughs> And it, it was end up being uh, uh what do you call those guys? 
an up and coming blogger, uh-huh. like a dude trying to be famous and go viral in these new social media lights. Okay. And so it was a gay guy. And so in the video, the gay guy is, he just walks up to Mike and he's like, Mike, take a picture with me. This is what Mike was Mike performing at the time? No, no, no. Mike, this is at the end of the show. Okay. The end of the show, and Mike's taking it. pictures with people. And so the gay guy walks up to Mike with the camera phone out. And he's like, oh, Mike, you ain't going to take a picture with me because I'm gay? Did y'all see this? So he's on his phone live. Like, he don't want to take a picture uh, of me because I'm out. gay. <laughs> now, no, he didn't call he him didn't out call because. Because he never was going to take a picture with him. No, him. no, he Mike, staged it. He staged uh, it. Right, he staged that. Right. This is the type of person. Like, okay. what people like this, what oh, they do, true. they go they go to different oh, com- comedian shows. Okay. Because what, what they I said was good. Mike was saying that the guy was already causing disturbances throughout the whole show. Uh, anyway. The guy was rude. So right. the guy was rude. And so what people are doing is they go to these shows just to get their own attention. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They want to heckle so that the energy goes on them. And so. Oh, yeah. To make a name for themselves. To make a name for I themselves. I thought that was a girl. Okay. You know. Now, I don't want to sh- say he this person's got, name. He should have got thrown out. You know, the security should have put him out. If he was causing that much of a disturbance at the show. During the show. During the show, right. But then now you got, he should have, but then you got. You know, now he on his camera with the security, like they throwing me out because mm-hmm. I'm gay. So he would have used it to work to his advantage anyway. So we saying that people are using technology to uh, promote themselves and create controversy mm-hmm. in the name of promoting themselves. I would say they, technology. They, I say it's almost scamming. You know, they okay. almost like scam artists to a certain extent. Like when you, if you, if you promoting yourself in a positive way, you know, that's one thing. But these people came here to see Mike Epps. Mm-hmm. So for you to purposely interrupt the show and then say Mike Epps is like gay bashing or homophobic mm-hmm. just to get somebody, just to, you know what I mean? Like, just to go viral. Because that's a controversial topic. That's a, that's a hot topic. And that'll get him plenty of attention. And so if that video is taken out of context, Mike Epps won't have a career. And, and this one will. You know, and he can be I don't famous. know, because Corey Holcomb... Speaks his mind, and you know you got certain artists nowadays who uh. Well, you know that that that's a good point. I don't think it's about you know whether you heterosexual, homosexual. Mm -hmm. You know, you know a lot of homosexual uh, people will say, "Hold on, brother, you know the gay guy, you not you wasn't right. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have did that." So just because you one way or another, that doesn't mean that the same people that share the same um, sexual orientation Mm -hmm. as you is gonna ride with you. So you know that's just an assumption. You know, sometimes with some people. But that's what they're betting on. You know. and, and this particular guy who's doing it, actually, it's funny because I just saw a video of him on Instagram the other day. And it's hilarious kind of what he does. It's stupid. But he walks around with these heels on, right? Mm-hmm. And he mm-hmm. goes like the different part. Like he'll be at the store, at the restaurant, grocery store. And he purposely trips and falls in front of people mm-hmm. just on video so to see to get reactions on video okay. so he'll be at a restaurant he'll trip and fall knock all your food down okay you know all your food is on and the then ground when he get knocked, the then when he, oh, he's already knocked yeah. down right okay yeah he knocked his and, when and he, he get, act like he tripped on his shoe he, he act got like he he walking heel ain't nobody got up and like, <laughs> like, like wait till he got right him. back up and he got knocked right back down and is that on video to the fool he knocked cause that'll be funny well you know what you know what kind what you know what came to mind <laughs> is uh, on Atlanta. I don't know if y'all see that series. Y'all look at that Atlanta. That's assault. Atlanta. Somebody call the police on him. Y'all don't watch that Atlanta. Atlanta. Yeah, I haven't seen that. It's, haven't it's seen. a series on. It's on Netflix actually, and it it was one episode where um, this is dude, the character named Paperboy, and Paperboy is like he's basically an analogy or example of how uh, rappers in Atlanta. Mm-hmm have to survive and they do certain things to do Mm -hmm. to get on right so they had this certain episode where this dude who was similar to the guy who is going around Mm -hmm. making a name for himself based off of filming crazy stuff and what that storyline taught taught me or told me is when people use technology to create controversy then they feel that any news is good news. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Any kind of publicity right. is good publicity. So what's happening in this example, which, which what it seems like with this guy, is that he's using the gay or the, or his sexuality and 
his lifestyle to get to I guess get pull strings on people's feelings about it. Mm-hmm. And not if it's right or wrong. It's using technology, right. which is the camera. Mm-hmm. But, 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 here's the, but here's the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. For one, I'm a person who believes in karma personally. I, I feel like even if you create a little buzz for yourself, one, that's going to come back on you. If you if you really throwing somebody else under the bus to get put on. And two, what does that say about you? If you need to do those antics to get attention, it, evidently your, maybe your work isn't good enough. Yeah, where you need to go out and, and get do this some something radical to get controversy. Well, that's why they're doing it. If your work is good, well, you're gonna you're gonna get followers, well, especially if you're advertising. It. Well, that's why they're doing it. It's short lived. So if you have several of those in a row, you'll make a name for yourself just just doing that. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of people out here like foolishness. They like that, True. And, and so they'll watch it just to see where he gonna show up next. Who's the dude? I can't even remember his name right now. That goes, that shows up to the Grammys and all the awards, and throws confetti and, and and embarrasses all the celebrities. He shows up just to do that. Well, and, and, and now and now people follow him. So people well, love and, this stuff. And now I'll, I'll say, that. I guess one of the things I, I would encourage people to really think about is look at yourself like a business. Like usually in business. You don't. A lot of times, you don't get both long term. When you do, when you make a move, you don't get a long term benefit at the same time a short term benefit. It's almost either mm-hmm. or. You either get short money, or you getting, or you in it for the long term. It's rare when it when you get both at the same I, I time. I think I think people are really not hanging their hat on money. They are hanging their hat on attention. Mm-hmm. Whether it's and, a short, small, long term, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. It's something in them that they feel and, that any attention is worth mm. it, and, and 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 that and that's what I'm saying is that you got to look at the co- at what cost does it come because sometimes that lo- that short term attention you get could cost you in the long term, you know when you're trying to do something maybe more credible. I a lot of times, some people not even gonna want to work with you. These brothers, those brothers in the mannequin challenge, I mean their lives, their lives are to- are forever affected. By a two-minute mannequin challenge on Facebook, so that's a good point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So, so next in news. In fact, you know what? Let's do this. Let's get directly into the topic, right? And we'll kind of touch on. Uh, if if y'all got any questions or comments, please give us some questions, or y'all can call in uh, to the line seven seven three two six three two five eight four. Y'all can call in the show if you got any questions. Hotline. Again, that's seven seven three two six three two five eight four. All right, so we're going to get into the topic right now. Um, all right, so first of all, I, the question that I have for people, can technology in the uh, system of racism, can technology level the playing field? What do y'all think? No. Why you say no, Jay? Because... Most of the technology we do not own, most of the social media platforms we do not own, and if you get too outrageous or you get too, too slanted, um, they can shut your page down, your YouTube channel, your Facebook channel, your mm-hmm. Instagram page, or you know whatever platform. So until you know we start owning more things and controlling more things, um, it can it can maybe start to uh, okay. It's like hip hop, you know uh, once. You know, uh, the, the uh, genre of music we know is hip-hop started kind of educating and waking up. And, you know, they we didn't own those re- a lot of those record labels. So a lot of those artists, you know, that were back then, we barely know now. And what image are they pushing now in the hip-hop, on the hip-hop scene? You know, now we're saying, well, well that's how the youth rap and this, that, and other. Okay, well, there's a whole nother segment of uh, mm-hmm. young artists that's not rapping like the ones that's pushing all the negativity. Right. They're not getting pushed. So, no, all youth aren't rapping like that. So, you know, what I'm saying is, you know, uh, you know uh, they're going to push the worst of us. or They're, they're going to use it or try to use it against us, not for us. So, mm-hmm. now, what's our mindset when we own these social media platforms? Mm-hmm. If we pulling guns and uh, doing mannequin challenges mm-hmm. with illegal weapons and mm-hmm. this, that, and other. So... You know, well, why, why did that video go viral? 
you know, do they can they control what's the, going viral? And not the more now, positive ones, you know, of so folks. Can like, what mm-hmm. goes viral? What comes up in your news feed? Can that be manipulated? So okay, so so you're coming from the perspective of if we're just consumers. If you so if you want to make a change, we have to begin to develop our own technology, kind of like the More Us app, kind of like Fresh Air Network, like Fresh Air Air Network, Network. the figure, the Connect 360 show, Mm -hmm. right? And 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 specifically, even like this podcast, because now if if platforms like this is can be we can help us control the narrative over mm-hmm. the next four years with people like Trump in office because right. you got people like what what's the uh, what's the Caucasian girl that's ca- the blonde girl that's causing that's talking uh, to all this controversy on Fox News on Fox, Fox News I think uh, what is um, she got a, a boy name I can't even think of her name but she's going she she's throwing out a lot of rhetoric a lot of rhetoric about uh, how black people are using a race car. Mm-hmm. Um, and and how Black Lives Matter is a, a racist organization. Oh, you're talking about Tommy uh, Lorraine. Huh? Tommy Lorraine, not Fox, but uh, she has her own platform. Uh, yeah. The Tommy Chick. Tommy Something Chick. like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So she played. A, she did a video. Got like 66 million views, well, talking yeah. about you know how black people are, are, are racist and all this stuff and. And we we need something. They now they have that narrative is going to get her in a position where she's going to have a following for the next four years, because it's people that want to li- they they want to support that narrative. So what 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 that sounds like? There is already an audience for that 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 narrative. So when we're talking about technology destroying racism, I think there's two things. If you expand your sphere of influence, where you can put more positive messages out, there, that's one thing. Um, but if someone else is once again dominating and controlling that, like Jay said, then you could put all the positive messages out there that you want. Someone is going to take that, yank that, and take that out of the out of out of the equation. But two, I also feel like the technology, social media. If you have sixty six million uh, viewers and followers, there's sixty six million thousand. I don't think she has that many. That could be manipulated too. But you have 66,000, whatever, people who want and subscribe to that message. So the technology is really, once again, just, I feel like, amplifying what already exists in the hearts and minds of people. People want to tune into that because they don't, they don't have that voice. Someone else is saying it. Well, now check this out, though. Now so this, I don't think technology um, now, is the issue. It's, now, it's, now here, it's check people. this out, though, on a whole other level. What is, now I taught, I was recruiting at, IADT, International Academy of Design Technology. All right, we had one specific program on here was high demand, but we had very low black students enrolling. This, the, the guy who was facility, he worked with the CIA, the main guy who was in charge mm. of the program. Okay. He said, what's one of the most powerful positions that you can have in this world today? And he says, being an internet hacker. Mm. Okay, or just a digital hacker. You understanding mm-hmm. Uh, forensics, computer forensics, right? Mm -hmm. They use, so uh, imagine, now I'm not supporting this, what I'm about to say, but just imagine if we had, if certain people that you knew had the ability to hack into systems for like, for example, remember that movie came out? It was a North Korean movie that I, they were talking. They were making that dictator in North Korea look really bad Kim in the Jong movie. Il. Kim Jong Il, yeah, mm-hmm. Kim Jong. And so what happened is North Korea they didn't want the movie to come Mm-mm. out. So what they did is they threatened. They like something happened with the Xbox systems. It was a big controversy where there was like the Xbox systems were crashing, and it was related, supposed to be related to North Korea. But my whole point is. If you have the power and you understand how to hack systems with technology, that gives you a whole nother level of power because we're so dependent on technology. Mm -hmm. So why do, I mean, a a, a computer hacker is more powerful than most armies. Right, because they're already doing it. The whole anonymous organization, whenever they want to, you know, drop something, they'll hack into something. And then they'll let y'all know this was this was anonymous or whoever that that is. Very, very powerful. But once again, that's that's someone who has control over the message that you, over the message that you're getting, whether it's positive or negative. So to tie that back into racism, who's who's controlling your message? Who's who's the one controlling your technology? Ding 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 ding. So it was like when when Russia put out those emails on Hillary. Look how that 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 mm. cost her. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm, that really changed the tide that, of the that, election. That changed the tide of the election. Yeah, I mean, they had to move quick. They had to move quick to try to like get Hillary back on top 
when that came out, man, I, I, that was interesting to see. I think what what I think is some of the possibilities of having technology change things is understanding the value of using it to further your message. Mm -hmm. Now, when you further your message, it could be in text, it can be in audio, mm -hmm. it can be in video. And one of the common things that we see with all of these different instances is that people have used their ability to put things on video and circulate it or mm -hmm. just have it available yeah, for, for circulation for better or for worse. on certain platforms. So kind of why is it that we haven't um, mm -hmm. embraced mm -hmm. that it's not even technology. It's mm -hmm. basically word of mouth mm -hmm. on steroids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And utilizing technology, why is it that we haven't caught on how TV has changed our thoughts in so many different ways, our kids and our our, our lifestyles, our families, how we interact with each right. other, the fact that those 13 uh, men put on at all things they could have did as far as the mannequin challenge, they did that. Mm -hmm. What? Why is that glorified? What did that bring to them as the number one when they got together? Say, hey, this is what we're going to do collectively. And did not one of them say, hey, you know what? I think well, this might not be a good idea. Not well, one of them. 20 of, well, them, in 20 of them, not one of them. Well, right. in, in my opinion, I could nobody's be, mama. I could be saying? very wrong, but maybe they thought they were shooting a video. I don't know. Maybe it, they did. It seems to me though they were. that <laughs> they were. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make a statement based on my opinion. One, the first of all, the internet is social media in mm. 2017. That's what the explain, internet explain is. Explain it. The internet meaning, is social media. Okay. Meaning more okay. people when you go online, if you're saying I'm going to make a purchase, I'm going to buy something right now. People are making more purchases on Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat than they are even on Google search engines. Mm. This is this is facts. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you think about on your phone, like when you're looking for something, the number two websites, search engines are Google and then YouTube. YouTube is a big one. That's mm -hmm. all that is. In fact, YouTube, they lose money on YouTube. Google loses hundreds of millions of dollars on YouTube. But they keep it because it, they, they say it's it's worth it because of the, 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 the power and the control they can still have it by keeping the attention there and locking in that data, mm -hmm. even though they're losing money, you know. Hmm. And the impressions that they're getting based off of people, even if they don't click on it, they see it. Mm -hmm. And that has a lasting effect on your buying ability, on your psychological now, thought now, process. Now, with that being said, who, am I, who makes the Internet or who makes social media hot? And it's, in my opinion, it's mainly black people that really blow these, a lot of these sites up, mm. the social sites. If you look at YouTube, a lot of YouTube growth initially came from hip -hop, stuff like hip-hop battle rappers. Okay. People mm -hmm. looking at these rappers doing their thing. And you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. You know, black Twitter. Why is it only a black Twitter? You don't hear of a, you know, Hispanic Twitter or Asian Twitter. Yeah. So what I'm saying is a lot of times black folk, we don't realize our power that we making these we making these social sites hot. So if we're like Justice said, making our own sites and we're on it, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, imagine how we can make our own stuff hot. Which brings the possibility of bringing in monetary and resources organically. So now you're not looking for somebody or somebody to give you money to, you know, to keep you sustainable or what have you. What also, do you mean organically? What's that? What do you mean by organically? Organically is like this podcast, for instance. People that seize it, they become subscribers, they become uh, fans, they become um, people who maybe get your T-shirts or what they have follow, you. They follow, they share. They, they, they're following you. That is something that if you see their name, if you see their handle, you know that they're loyal to you, right? right. So now you have the ability to introduce other things to them and they'll be more susceptible to accept it, which means that you have the ability to have to create a movement. Inside of this movement, mm -hmm. a movement is just a collective thought that is expressing itself. Mm -hmm. So organically means that it's nobody that, you know, I remember back in the day when we used to, um, <laughs> we used to have a party and we used to always talk about, hey man, if you help me do this event, uh, share it with your group, right? 
Mm-hmm. Or let me get your email list. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The big thing. The email email list. Get, let me get your email list. list. Right. So what what's happening is that that is a secondary organic way of getting your own mm-hmm. uh, email list. Meaning, once they send it from somebody else, they come to you. Mm-hmm. They like it. They decide to subscribe, mm-hmm. become a fan, or what have you. You know where the origin of where where that person mm-hmm. came from. You know what their handle is. You've developed a relationship with them organically as opposed to second or third party way of getting information, mm-hmm. right. which means that you have the ability to sustain a relationship between that person and yourself because y'all have common interests or common goals mm-hmm. or common subject matters that y'all want to you know, mm-hmm. tap into. So when you have that, it's just like in any relationship, when you have common interests, it bonds you right. just like how black people see each other on the streets or see each other someplace mm. at a party and it's only three of y'all and y'all give each other the looks like not, it's time to go. You gotta have right, or or, or, or yeah. like what's up? Yeah, we know what's up. going down right, right. here. Right. Right. And they Telepathy. acknowledge each other, which yeah. is the common strand yeah. of your know, melanin mm-hmm. you know, thing that, that that y'all have a a, um, a, a synergy with. So organically, when you have those, just like the Corey Holcombs, I follow him because I feel like I like him because I know how he thinks. I know what's going on with him. He mm-hmm. shared more information with me. I've seen his character. I've seen how he deals with things. I've seen his stance on certain things. Now, I can make a conscious choice based off of that if I want to fuck with him or not. Mm-hmm. Now, if I like more things than not, I'm probably going to be in- more inclined to quote unquote, go into the friendship mm-hmm. mode. Mm-hmm. And when you go into a friendship mode, which is a different level of relationship, which means that y'all share a different and more information, oh, right. which means that y'all have the ability to move in a certain direction. Then when y'all get together physically, socially, what have you, time is not wasted because I know, I know, I know how you get down. Right, right, right. I know how you get down. So that way of organically bringing people together has more of a sustaining right. sustainability process to share or show other people how to do it. Right. Now you collectively have this systematic way of thinking, which organically you can't break because right. we know what, mm-hmm. what, what, what it what's is. Going right. mm-hmm. So I think that that's how we use technology with the old school systematic way of thinking, word of mouth, or you know, have people. You want you like people that that's like you right, around you, right. and when you can do that, and the communication between you guys is authentic, then you have more of a ability to move forward, right, right, in life, not based, not questioning what that person is. Because the introduction's already been made, oftentimes through social media. Because sometimes you know I, you want to check people out, you go to their Facebook page. All what, day. What, what are you about? I don't know if I want to be your friend. Let me see what you posting. Let me right. see what how many mutual friends here. we got. Uh huh. What are our mutual friends? What kind of little is this some ratchet stuff you posting on Facebook? I don't know and, if I like you. And, and, so yeah, we've been primarily talking about technology in the form of social media platforms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So outside of social media, how else can we use uh, you know technology to um, help assist us? Well, okay. Are I, there I, any I, apps out there that we can you know? Uh, the, the tools, you know, because technology is really a tool. So it's are we using tool. that tool, it's a tool. For, to uh, help us pro- progress or are we using that tool to help take us backwards? So, Well, I want to say one thing about it before we get off the topic of uh, social media, though. And that is, like, you, since you said it's a tool, it's one of the greatest tools if we use it right in terms of business. Like, <clears throat> like Facebook advertisement is a great way to get a lot of exposure to the right target market and you only have a small budget because there's some people that say oh, I don't want to go on Facebook or I'm deleting my Facebook I ain't gonna be on there for six months and my challenge to them is it's only a distraction if you're not using it as a tool to be productive right. with right. you know so don't fight and say the tool is bad it's just how you was using it was bad right so it's just a great opportunity uh, to use Snapchats and Facebook, so I, I want—I definitely want to say that we got to look at those things like tools. But in terms of apps, some of the apps I like that I use on my phone that are really, really dope is uh, I like Mint. It's a Mint app, M-I-N-T. It's an app that helps you with budgeting. 
So, you know, mm. you can actually have your bank account and your credit cards linked with this. So whenever you're making purchases, it'll automatically tell you, like, if you're going over your budget, whatever, your, you okay. know. Okay. Uh, and help you save your money and, you know, things Get like that. Get your paper in line. Get I your paper in line. That's something I'd be kind of paranoid. Of. I don't want to tell you information about my place. bank account. Well, I'm going to tell you. Well, I'm, now, now, I'm glad is you said physically, that. Physically, is it like electronically well, you linked? You have the option. You don't have to you link your bank to. account. But I'm glad you brought you got that up. a hacker. Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm glad you brought that up, though. I'm, I encourage people. First of all, have, don't put all your money in one specific bank or bank account. Because now you're setting yourself up for the set for the for the for the for to be set up, all right? Because they can freeze your account at any time, or even do an audit on you and then report you to one of these government organizations for something it's frivolous. So I'm saying. So what do you keep your money, Jackson? Hey, mm-hmm. just know I got I got a couple of safe places. I'm old school. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm old school, and I believe in diversification. Okay. Diversification. You know how you so, spell that? Hey. I'm a uh, H-O-L-E-I-N-G-R-O-U-N-D. Hole in the ground, okay? Uh, mattress, uh, you know what I mean? M-A-T-C-I-E-S-S. Right. But basically, the tool, you, you use it to, to the point that you're comfortable with. Oh, Don't tie your bank account to it. Yeah. But use it as a tool. Yeah, yeah. Because it's safe, you know. Because if it's safe. safe. So somebody somebody was research? just asking on Facebook. They said, as a grown man in 2017, how much money, or as an adult, they said, how much money should you walk around with in your wallet? Some people were saying, well, you should. Some people were saying, have $20. Some people say 40 One guy said he don't walk around with no money because no he money. has cards. Yeah. Me personally. I have a couple of dollars. I yeah. believe it, it, you definitely should have money. And I think, one, it should depend on, like, the car you drive. And that's first of all. Wow. Because... Wow. Okay. Meaning, okay. Cause wow. see, I'm, 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 I'm a real dude, Depends right? On the car. Okay. Meaning, if yo, if you know your car might stop, it might shut down on <laughs> okay, you. Okay, okay. You might need a hundred dollars. You know what I mean for you a need tow. A backup. You need a backup plan. You know, you never know. It might be cold outside. You might need to buy a cover or something because you need to be prepared. So, all I'm, and, and, which no, it brings up a good point. <laughs> how how do you think technology has changed how we view um, f- money? And the usage of it to the point of, mm. you know, when the money is in your hand, mm-hmm. you can manage it a little bit there better if it's in your hand as opposed to you going to the store. And, and let's face it, I've been a victim of it where I come in and instinctively I just swipe it mm-hmm. not and even thinking. not really thinking about, OK, I had five hundred and sixty eight dollars. This was eight dollars. So I have five hundred and sixty dollars left over. You don't necessarily have that thought process. All you think about right now is getting whatever it is that you want. Right. So how do you think that has uh, helped and hindered a oh, person? Man. I know it it's it was horrible for me. I I'm personally an addict of a, of a few sites, Uh-oh. and and maybe if they want to help me out a little bit. Um, Groupon. So, oh, there's so many sites where your information is just automatically tied to the purchase. Yeah. It's already make it stored. Easy for the purchase. They make yeah. it so easy for that <laughs> that income to, to come in and go right back out again. Right. So, I mean, literally, it first thing in the morning. I mean, I'm looking through my emails trying to handle business, but that Groupon email come up. I'm like, oh, let me look at that. So, oh, let me see what's going on with Starbucks today. Let me see what's going on with that. So that that does that doesn't help for managing it if you're thinking of it as a from a from a consumer standpoint but i also think like you're talking about carrying money i personally feel like it's better not to carry any i mean having a few dollars is helpful but for me i feel actually safer knowing that if i have a couple of cards on me versus cash if someone steals my cash it's gone i can't get that back i can't recover that as quickly but if i have a card i can get right on that phone boom boom chase fraud prevention thank you cut that cut that cut that and it's done what if but, you took that and card and swiped it, it and someone stole the information off of it but then again chase know. fraud prevention right, right, right. calls me up someone tried but, to use but, my card in cicero and whoever you are mm-mm, get, 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 did get you say in cicero because chase called me they called me. They said, oh. And I was like, but my card's in my pocket. How did they do that? So that there's these scammers out here. So, mm-hmm. But then they call you. They stop it. But if that was physical hard cash, no. I can't get that back. I'm a big, I'm just a, 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 a big skeptic of, of I'm a one of those believe, believe in the conspiracy theories. I feel like if all of your money is tied with, within technology, 
I feel like at any point it could be frozen. So like you've seen yeah. that movie with Will Smith yeah. in the other <laughs> state. Yeah. And everything was froze. Everything Whoa, was cut the off. The now we get into uh, <laughs> uh, uh, back to <laughs> Bitcoin. Like, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. you know, What's your thoughts Bitcoin. on that? Yeah. I think it's I think this smart. I, th- I, I think it. Smart. I think it's smart to diversify your money. Yeah. You should Absolutely. never have all of your yeah. assets in one place. Yeah, never that have is true. everything in cash. Don't have have some a little bit of cash. Have a little bit of Bitcoin. Have a little bit of silver. Have a little bit of gold. Have a little, have a little bit of real estate. Y'all got have any Bitcoin? I do. Now I don't have any Bitcoins. Mm-hmm. I need to get on that. Well, see, I'm not as knowledgeable on that. But I heard when Greece had that that crazy crisis. Uh, the economic crisis. Everybody was turning their money into bitcoins so as fast bitcoin as they can. Is it's digital currency, digital basically. Currency. Yeah. Okay. There yeah. we go. So it's like going to the casino and you trade your dollars to get chips, but you're getting bitcoins. And, and they change those back over. At, and there's a lot of e-commerce sites that are accepting How bitcoins. How is that system backed up? That I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know. Something mean. happened. Could they just? Erase or yeah, take can away. somebody type in the feed? Anybody has some well, Bitcoin knowledge? Right. Well, and, and, and that <laughs> was one of the coins out there. Now, now that you was one Bitcoins of the big. That was one of the big How controversies. It, right. That was one of the big controversies exactly. at the beginning mm-hmm. on why people didn't want to do it because it's like, what if all your Bitcoins are virtually erased or stolen? But I will say but this: that could happen with any form of currency. Bitcoin right. has been around. For they they going through the test of time now, so mm-hmm. they've been here for at least I don't know eight years or something yeah, like at that. Least, at five, least five, eight years. I know that. Yeah. Well, it's and there's, longer than that. And yeah. there's a lot of sites that are now accepting them. Mm-hmm. So and it was more prominent overseas first right. before it got over to the states. Be so a, it could have been out long. Billionaire, a billionaire. I'm sure whoever thought about it. You know what I liked about the concept work. is that they introduced the free enterprise of, on creating your own systematic way of how you view and use currency. Mm-hmm. It's no, it was no longer just credit and money, and then most people wasn't in line with the gold or the silver or getting precious jewels right. as a form of uh, currency. So I think what happened is that when it introduced itself, it opened the floodgates of people saying that, yeah, we don't have to use money as the only yeah. uh, form How of interacting and, ch- and exchanging aluminum, work. Aluminum cans. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ox, ox. Or the concept of a Bitcoin. You could create something right now. You, you know. Now, this is side. Now, I, I, I know someone at those events mm-hmm. in our neighborhood, and they said there's an, um, a, another ethnic group that has events at their establishment. Mm-hmm. And it's maybe like about five. 100 to 700 people to show up and they have all these beer cans around yeah but they have one person goes around and collects all these beer cans i mean like does anyone still collect like aluminum cans or you take and take them to the recycling yeah. place yeah. Right, they yeah. like five cent five yeah. cent five cents you, I, can, I still per see can. Uh, okay. i think glass bottles too people who are not necessarily in good conditions they walking around Going into um, they and, and it's they still doing it. Right? So so with that being said, steel aluminum. That could Metals. be for that, that could be an opportunity even for some younger folks to maybe start their own little business venture. Cause see, cause sometimes our mindset as black folks, we look at stuff like it's not cool to collect to do certain things. Mm-hmm. So I'm not gonna do it because I don't want to look like I'm broke. You know, so they think, oh, I'm not going to start a recycling business because, you know, I'm, I'm collecting cans. People look at me like I'm crazy, not knowing mm. you could make a multi-million dollar business doing a contract with a city having a recycling company. I got a, I got a concept, and I'm just going to put it out there because it helps the, uh, the, the, the world. What's your concept? My concept is, along those lines, was why is it that we can't get a recycling um place for plastic all plastic Mm -hmm. you know how much plastic is in the world Mm -hmm. you know how they're talking about how it's affecting i don't know the turtles because Mm. they're you know uh swallowing the the bags in there because they think it's jellyfish and they're swallowing them and it's killing them all so we're creating genocide on the turtles based on all day long Uh, humans uh, yeah so it's a lot lot of technology to yeah and then technology comes in with after you collect the actual um, paper or plastic, excuse mm-hmm. me, how do you transfer it back to a more usable material? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so like a starting point because right. you got dye, you got yeah, all yes. that stuff yes. inside of it. Yes. But at the same time, 
You know how much plastic is in the in, world in our neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. I mean, how much? It's a lot of plastic in hair weave. A lot of people don't know it. You got a lot of I, silicone yeah. and fibers in, cool and cheap hair weave. So you can turn Probably around and sell choking that on back. somebody's weave right now. They throwing weave in the ground. Or they use the plastic to uh, to create fuel. Mm-hmm. I saw a house built out of water bottles. Did yeah, y'all see that? that? Yeah, I that saw that. I saw that. That was pretty awesome. I seen a guy that built the island out of plastic. So yeah, a big, a huge island, and it floated because it was plastic. Because it was, it floated. Yeah. 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 See, that's crazy. Okay. That's crazy. Okay, I like how this turned into save the world, save the environment. (laughs) Sisters, dispose of your hair weed properly so the dolphins don't choke on it. Cause that ain't cool. (laughs) 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 Did you ever think about that though? Your hair weave getting into the water supply. And man, just go natural. Just so, go natural. <laughs> oh, especially all the plastic water bottles because the water is so contaminated. So people have to drink, have to water bottles and water containers. So that's a whole nother level. Well, of, that's, you, but the thing is that same companies that knew that 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 issue turned around and said, you know what? Let's start using paper. Mm-hmm. So you have more mm-hmm. paper, like I water use, in a box. Water in a box. Milk. Milk. Cart. Almond milk now. When you go into the, the stores, I, I drink almond milk. Me too. Right? And when I go there, nine times out of ten, you don't see it in the plastic. Right. Mm-hmm. You see it in a, in a box. In a car. And I'm sure that is, A, number one, is better for the environment. Mm-hmm. So they can always use that as a, uh, as, a, as a marketing tool. But number two, that's what we used to use in the first place. Mm-hmm. 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 When the, when bottles came out or what when milk or whatever, then they started using bottles. Right. Remember, yeah. people used to come the the uh, milkman used milk to man. use the bottles and all that stuff. So my point is that technology has a way of showing you what time we're living in mm-hmm. and how to to basically. Uh, you gotta adapt. You gotta adapt. So so how can adapt. we begin to use technology? To, to empower that's uh, the point. We not just our community well our community is the main thing but also how to get our children to view it in a way where it's more about innovating versus just being a consumer of it yeah. not just the internet we're talking the spiritual technology and being in tune with the universe and understanding the astrology astronomy as well as being in tune with the uh, the whether the, the you know your cell phones how to mm-hmm. how, basically even what we're talking about how can we get kids because this was crazy mm. you can get I've seen two year olds pick up tablets and they know how to use it and work mm-hmm. it and go and get everything they need at two so the kids I, I mean because the, the kids they already are in tune with it you know they don't even want Christmas presents around Christmas time they they want technology right so how can we get them to, to, to work with it in a positive way. Well, it's the same thing with anything, especially when you're dealing with a child. When you sit him or her in some place and you share with them what what they can do. Okay, so I'm saying that you sit a child down and you give him a tablet. And he may you may work it at the same time. And then he's looking and he's studying. And after he study, he's just going to repeat what you're doing. And nine times out of ten, he's only repeating because he loves you and he feels like that, you know, that you will never give him nothing that's bad. That's Mm -hmm. the thing to do. Okay. So my point is is that the narrative of who the mother is to the child trumps him going out and doing something crazy with it because he feels like his mom really cares about him. So how do we change the narrative of kids is we give them tools, but we give them a tools with the narrative, narr- narr- the narration mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. of this is how you can use it for good. So giving them some specific instructions. Because what it's I the same see thing is, with, t- with television yeah, is doing now, exactly. but it has no instruction. Exactly, exactly. Because my thing is, if your kid is sitting up watching you do this all day, that's their model. For what to use this phone for, this smartphone for. But if you say, you know what, I'm over here, I'm trading stocks right here. Or this is what I'm using Facebook Live for so I can monetize my uh, my sphere of influence to the masses so I can get 
pay per hit. Now, if you're explaining that to your child, then they're going to be on this phone and they're going to use it for that. But if you're on here making little comments, you got Facebook beef, you got Twitter beef, you thirsty dudes all over here inboxing other girls. So the, the little dudes looking up to you doing that, then that's what they're going to do. That's what they're using their technology for. So it, if you're the model, you're the model, you sitting up here doing this all day, that's what your kid going to be doing. And they're smart. They're they're soaking it up. It's not like they don't know how to use it. So we should be using. Well, some people say, well, hey, well, I use it for entertainment. You know, just light, mm -hmm. uh, you know, light lightheartedness or whatever. So you know, um, well, to share my thoughts and views. But what a lot of people don't know, you're giving away all your information too. So you, it's like a free. If you're on a social media platform. You're giving it's like a free. What do you call those? Uh, where they get information? Survey. Yeah, survey. Mm. You know, your data. They pay people oh, for they're surveys. collecting information. Yeah, they collect all, all the type time. of information. Every click, every your likes, your dislikes, and then you wonder why those ads are popping up over in, on the right hand exactly. side. Exactly. Uh, so you're giving away all of your information and all of your um. Your well, and they transfer it in, right. the, in the in the form yeah. of analytics, and they use those exactly. analytics. They're analyzing your you. behavior, and they predict your behavior and your likes and your dislikes. So, yeah, so also teaching the babies, okay, everything that you're looking at, someone is watching you. Someone is monitoring that behavior. But I feel like just like they used to do old school with the TV, your mama said, you know what? You can't watch TV until your homework's done. You can't watch TV until all your chores are done. You got to do that with your, with your Facebook, your social media, and all of that. Uh, have you done your homework in life? Video like, games, have, all But that. I mean, like, I think some of us need to do that to ourselves. Like, not just our kids. We talking about kids, but some of us need to, like, self-parent. Some people wake up in the morning. First thing. The middle of the night. First thing, you know. I'll be honest with you. I I do that. I'm addicted. You talking about me right now? I you do know, it too. Like I wake up. I do it too. Like, that you so quiet, man. That's why you. I woke up at like lesson. four o'clock this, this is morning. An intervention. Let me check my and went on YouTube. I went on YouTube because I like to and sometimes just listen to certain information. I, but I use it as a research tool, though. So, oh, that's so a research tool? At what time of night was you yeah, using like, it as like a research tool? At 3.30 in the morning. At 3.30 oh, in the morning. Okay. Like, I, like, that's what I did. I woke that's up this morning at like 4. I couldn't sleep. You couldn't so sleep. So I, I, well, I looked up. Well, that's exactly. Mm -hmm. I was researching some Bobby Hemet. Right, Aww. I'm just looking at some Bobby Hemet videos. Well, you was up to twelve noon watching that video. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby going for six seven hours. <laughs> you just yeah. be tired. You should be tired. Bobby but but you know it was funny. He was talking about, and this on a whole another note. He was talking about technology in this video, Woo and he was he was talking about how women use these sex toys. That sounds about right. Like right, he's talking about these sex toys and how they use it, or how the sex toys I is replacing. I catch this Bobby Hemmings video. Yeah, he was talking about how it, how the sex toys are replacing. Now, who's hold Bobby? On, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. Interfering just, with Bobby relationships, like, like she just said. You up three thirty, four o'clock in the morning and, doing and it, what? And it, you know, and it you quickly turned into toys. some sex toys. You know, start off with Bobby Hammond. Like I don't know about. what conscious DVD this <laughs> was. Sex toys. So what was the title of that video? Yes, so we can all watch let it. us know. I'm gonna hey. look it up now. Hey, if you just Google up Bobby Hammond, you know, or, or sex or toys. You and sex that. toys? Yeah. Hey. Was it sex toys at first? <laughs> <laughs> mm. You know. Nah, you know what? Actually, it was spiritual technology. So uh, you know, so but 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 spiritual technology. But it is interesting to see. <laughs> but it but it's deep okay. to see how technology on so many different levels. Just as you asked about outside of the apps, how was technology in helping or hurting? You know, if you think about that, it, set that, toys sex are toys. destroying some relationships. Wow, that's where For technology purposes. and spirituality intersect. <laughs> Bam. Yeah, I, 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 I had this, I had this girl. I had this Bad. one girl I dated. I wanted to say Deepness. this one thing. I had this one girl I used to date, and I loved her. Let me tell you, she was on point, right? Everything was good about it. Oh, look, like, got all close to the mic. <laughs> Everything I was dope about her. this chick except for the sex. Like she owned her own she had her own business. She had her own properties and stuff. Twenty four years old. Like she on her game. Did she watch the show? But she had sex <laughs> issues. Like she would have these she was addicted to playing with herself with these toys. And so that's self love. It, it I made mean, she it, knew how to love herself. Nah, that was self abuse because she <laughs> she she was molesting herself. She knew how to she love herself. She was running late for work. She would make she herself she would make herself orgasm like seven times almost every day. And if she didn't have it, it would it would make her cranky and irritable. But that's that's okay. I mean maybe that's healthy for her. That's her healthy level. If of you told if me that you were like you were like witnessing it, or I witnessed it, and she told me if any time masturbation is stopping you from getting to work and interfering with your business, that's not healthy. Mm. 
-hmm. That's not healthy. That's abusive. That's, That's abusive. abusive. Mm -hmm. you said so. That's self-destructive behavior. And, and yeah. it, then if it's interfering with your relationship where you can't be intimate, mm -hmm. you know, with your significant so other. sex addict. You know, I mean, I wouldn't call her a addict. sex so addict. she'd be over in the corner playing with herself and you'd just be sitting there watching you, well, What was you doing? <laughs> well, I'll put it to you, like, it was times where we would, I would try to get with her, right? And she, she couldn't, she couldn't get off. She couldn't because she, she like, she needed her toy. But you know what I mean? It, I, think, it, I think we're exposing some other issues you say, get at the this toy. point. <laughs> I'll pick up with a toy left on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You couldn't so she she had the toy and then she had and then she was like, eh. so is it desensitizing herself? Yeah, she, she would. I want to go over with this toy. Mm -hmm. She had a, the toy. She used to sleep next to the toy. It was toy. like a higher vibration. When I met level. the girl, you know, it, and it, it shocked me. And it you shocked and you. you would be amazed how many of these. And that's why I tell this guys, all came from the Bobby Hammond video. You got, nah, this ain't got nothing to do with Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch out for some we of these real. <laughs> Some of these professional, really conservative oh, women. The toys come from Japan. And I'm Chinese. telling this to the to the young guys too. When you go to the club, a lot of guys. I, when I was younger, I used to think it was the girls that was half naked would be the ones that was the freaks. Those they just want attention. But the girls that really be the freaks would be them conservative chicks. Mm -hmm. The little conservative, like Sylvia, they be the, really. The what, yeah. Wait a minute, why yeah. you like, wait, 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 don't yeah. let this and, card and they would be really you. the herbal tea chicks, the herbal Don't tea princesses. Don't let this card again. Why, why did freaks? you pull your stuff together? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, because he put me out there a little conservative. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I'll, go ahead. Continue. Now, these, these are some of them chicks. They, I'm telling you, man. You, these are some chicks. They, they, they have all, all of the toys, so all of the technology all over the place. Oh man, mm. it's Social deep. media, toys, <laughs> apps, <laughs> laptops, can't video compete. Games. Can't even compete, man. So I feel I you felt, toys, cyborgs you in the future. felt really strongly. Well, about why that. you bull? They, they got some yeah. stuff, and that's the next level. Yeah, that's the yeah. Next level. Maybe that's why all this information is being gathered. Mm. Yeah, so you don't have to leave your house. And, and speaking of that, how much, <laughs> how much is porn, <laughs> even porn destroying a yep, lot of our, a lot of our people? Think about, like, for real. If you look at some sites like Instagram and Snapchat, primarily a lot of it is porn. If we like soft porn, mm, for real. If we gonna porn. be for real, a lot of it is soft porn. You following these chicks? How is it that you can have an average chick that got a booty implants or whatever, like Miss Brazil, who just won, and you know? They now won they all what? popular and they uh, got that she uh, won uh, the Miss Brazil some type of beauty pageant they had she just won like a few days ago, uh, but it's really popular in Brazil. They're winning based off of because technology is giving this platform to be famous based off you know just looking sexy or manipulating their body and so now well, well I, I also feel like technology again is only amplifying the issues that already exist in your mind so if the issue is <laughs> body image then of course we're gonna find more and more ways to amplify that using technology you, and you can follow and unfollow certain things so if you're going to use mm. social media platforms for uh business purposes some stuff you can unfollow if it's a distraction yeah you know well, Some people you can unfollow. Here we go. If you log on and every time they, you know, you don't have to follow them. They can still be friends. You yeah. Know. You choose them. Or you, you can consume. choose to follow certain pages. You know, uh, you, you went to gold and silver or real estate or. So it's so, so it's about how you using the tool to empower yourself. So don't just be a consumer. Don't just be a slave to all this technology and be overwhelmed by it. So yeah. I would even encourage parents to there are look on Google and find. Same technology like mm. conferences and, and 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 contests in your area because there's a lot of these other kids in these other ethnic groups i see it all the time they'll they'll enter contests and competitions where they're building their own robots where you know and it, it might be some it might be something really basic but they're understanding the basics of how to develop your own robot how to develop something that works and then it has a function mm -hmm. And that's something that if we get our kids involved in stuff mm -hmm. like that at a young age, it'll form. It'll. This is the type of stuff that Bill Gates and them with, you know, that they that they get Valley, Silicon Valley, 
for. This this is what they're doing with their the children. That's where the power is. That's where the that's where the money is. We're talking about influencing folks through technology. Those are the the, the folks who who f- Facebook, all of these other platforms. Someone behind that is making money off of that every minute of every day exactly. while we sitting up here scrolling and flipping. So <laughs> we do need to start instilling those things, not just looking at it and u- utilizing it, but also being an innovator in that space. You know, so it's a marketing and advertising platform, mm-hmm. and they're learning you based on what you're sharing and yeah. what you like. And like I said before, you know that's what it boils down to. You know. Right. But yeah. you can also put it in reverse. Right. You know, it, which what she went so it's talking about, you know, um, in regards to us being consumers, we can kind of turn that around. Right. You know, let's be creative. So either use it to amplify something, uh, a business idea, something that you already got going on, your natural God given uh, gifts and talents, or study this and become. Let that become your sphere of influence so you can start controlling more and more technology the way others are, are controlling the world with it. And you can learn almost anything you want to on YouTube. And learn. You know, learn. Not, Don't just be on it looking at that petty stuff. How to do this. How to do that. Yeah, Take I, a phone apart. Put yes. it back together. I think Tutorials. What, uh, what you're saying is, well, what you, all you guys are saying is, is important is the fact that we are not, as, as adults and as children, are not really concerned with how things work. Mm. We just consume things and not necessarily know how they're made where they come right. from, what technology is behind it, what issue is it you know, helping or, or taking away. What happens is that you look at stuff differently mm-hmm. when you find out the, you don't have to know everything, but you know what the premise on how it right. works. The now, the child is automatically gonna wanna know that when they get anything, after they get bored with anything, what do they do? They tear it up mm. and see how it works. The so they innately wanna do that. It's the fact that we have been such consumers as people mm. to not look at the fine print, but just look at the end result. Yeah. Meaning not how it works, not just how it's made of. Just the stimulus of it. The physical yeah. part mm-hmm. of it or what it's actually doing for you mm-hmm. as opposed to let me find out how this work. Can I make it better? Mm-hmm. Is there a way to make it better? Can I make it in a way where it's more better for my people or my class of folks or whatever. So what my, my point being is that looking at things in a way in which we find out how things work. We're right. more enthralled with how they work mm-hmm. as opposed to what they're actually doing. A child easily is going to do that anyway. We, as, as adults, get out of practice of it because we're such in a rat race, we just want to get it done. Right. We want to see the results as opposed to how is the result actually happening. When you look at it in that light and you teach a child to look at things as, as the outside of it, not being inside of it, meaning let's look at how things work collectively, not individually. And then if you look at things collectively, then you have to think about, okay, well, if three things made this thing work, let me find out what are the three things, first of all, what, how do they work together, mm-hmm. and do I want to learn it in depth because I know it's a way of making more money in the future, right. or do I want to say, oh, that's good, that's cool, I know that's how it works, but I want to focus on what's going to really make there a we difference. Go. Well, there and, we go. And, and I think that that takes us back to the power of even doing a technology detox because – when you detox, when I say, when I mean by detox, I'm talking about where you take a week or a few days where you you just leave all of your technology alone. Right? A week. Uh, okay, le- how about trip. that? <laughs> well, where, where, no, don't check now. emails. Don't. Well, okay, uh, let, let, okay. You can't so check your bank account. We'll make it simple. <laughs> Nothing. Whatever you gotta on, know man. what you gotta be honest with yourself and know what you're addicted to. So I'm not, not saying I'm not saying not using your bank account. But if you know that you're addicted to the comment section on you on Facebook and YouTube, then you have to yeah. make it. You have to discipline yeah. yourself and say, I'm going to take one day or two days where I'm not going to have four yeah. windows open on my computer I'm while working. I'm working yeah. and do that detox that one or two days that, at a time. That week might be hard. I, I will say this because I was reading on something, too. Even if it, even if you do check your phone and stuff, just the simple fact that these com- these these small these, these phones are in our in our vicinity, 
can be harmful, even if you're not looking at it. Because we were talking about electromagnetic frequencies before. They were saying this disrupts our sleep patterns, how we think, how we interact. So even just taking a moment to make sure your phone is in a whole nother room. That could be a form of detox. How 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 much distance can you keep between you and your phone? Maybe that's yeah, where you start. Do, right. How long do you go without checking it? <laughs> exactly. How long can you go without checking it? And even distance, because sometimes I get a little antsy if I don't see my phone or feel my phone on me. Like that's a that's a thing. All too. these devices are emitting, you know, some certain that, types of radiation or whatever. Exactly. Microwaves and you know. There we go. Also, it's taking you from being alone with your damn self. There we go. You know what I'm saying? You want to actually make something else entertain you as opposed to you thinking about entertaining your damn self. There we go. Why won't you just sit down and just relax? And when reflect. You, reflect. Well, what's reflection? Or, or read a book or <laughs> uh, look at something that's, that's not so techno, technology you know, driven. driven. It's more of most of the time you think you're missing something. Yeah. It's the arrogance of your egoness, mm -hmm. thinking that that you shouldn't be left. What out they call the that? They call that FOMO, FOMO, FOMO. Fe fear of missing out. Okay, fear of missing out, because you want to be in the know. Because mm -hmm. you know, whenever somebody talk about that new Facebook post, everybody talking about it, or your know, show come on, you like, oh shoot, what's what's going on? Oh, and the crazy part is that, that that's not even being in the know. It's not even being in the know. That's we being think all it over is. the place. Yeah, that's yeah. being distracted. That's being that's distracted. distracted. Sometimes the best time is. My sometimes my favorite times is when I, I'm you know I know where my phone is but I don't I haven't cut it on yet or my mm. battery might have uh, died you know I forgot to plug Ain't it in. Ain't that the, the best time? You know I'm like you know. Cause she be like, it's like it's like damn my battery died. So what can you do? Right. So with so with the time oh, well. so with the time dwindling I, I want to uh, let, let's begin to conclude the show yeah. but right. I, I do want to mention though why this whole everything we're talking about is so important. 2017 because technology is just going to become more and more a part of our everyday lives. It, it's not going anywhere. It's going to get to the point where virtual reality is going to be the thing, you know, when you're so it's going to be important that you begin to practice some of this stuff that we're saying and being aware of this stuff now. Because once you start getting the self-driving cars and the, yeah, you're going aware. on virtual dates, it's going to be a whole nother level. So you want to start practicing these things now because you, you're losing your individuality. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and your and your skills of interacting with like other the social human right beings on a social level. So you use it, <laughs> but don't let it come soon. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you, you up at three thirty so. in the morning, you know, looking. Up. No, I'm just saying you talking about individuality. I mean, it's getting to the point where people are having these prosthetic limbs and stuff on their body where they come in like cyborgs, right? And so now they they <laughs> give you, you switched it out. What? But, but no, no, no. <laughs> This is <laughs> okay. Mark my words. I know Please it sounds weird, but, but I'm listening. Is this time with the toys? Uh, I know, right? He's really no, 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 no. I'm being, I'm being serious with because I, right. I get, I'm I get. Serious. For example, we were just talking about Sony doing the the recordable contact lenses, right? Uh, so right. now I'm, I get Wired magazine, which is a good magazine yeah. to get. Yeah. And for the past six years, they've been doing these articles about these new prosthetic. Uh, uh, cyborg body parts, right? Oh. So you, we see this stuff in movies first. We've seen movies like I Robot, where you know the man got the robot leg and things like that. Terminator. The Terminator. So a lot of that stuff that we look at as fiction is really reality. This technology that's been out and is going to be more incorporated in the future. So once we get to the once this, as we begin to see this stuff more in the future, we want to already have some sort of spiritual base. And an internal base about your own technology and not getting lost in the matrix. So. I feel like that's a that's a really good point. Like, like you control technology. Don't let technology control and consume you. But but I feel like we lose the we lose the sight of all of this stuff came from a human being. So it's artificial it's, intelligence. It's artificial. Think about it. Making think us about artificial. It. More it's more. artificial Because think about it. So right the now, machine and technology are trying to turn you into a machine. Because mm, right now, most that's people... The, is that the agenda, Most though? people are... The most popular thing is fake booties, fake breasts, right? So it's getting to the point... Get the point we got fake brains now. Fake brains. You got... It's numb. Printers are going to be so normal in the next few years mm, where now people can be able to <laughs> do a 3D print 
of uh, they can of almost anything, of guns, they body out. parts, it's DNA, out. Mm-hmm. It's out. and that's. But what I'm talking about, it's going to get normal where it's like a household thing. Mm-hmm. You right. know, for those who are in the, who are printer. in the in the know, right? Who have access to resources. So I'm just saying, this show we in 2017. So once this stuff Basically. becomes regular, we want to start preparing people to think ahead as this stuff is happening because it's going to be even more relevant. In two, three years from now, get in on the business side of it. Figure out how get to get in involved in that up and coming industry. Do exactly. your research. Right, do do your research. research. That's the most important thing that we can take away from this yeah. show is those who are informed has the the have ability to understand it and change it and make it better and make opportunity off of it. All right. That's only after you understand it. So, so with that being said, are, are there any uh, announcements? Y'all got any events coming up? Any new technology y'all want to introduce? Uh, Event-wise, December 17th, check us out. Uh, the 300 group will be a Some Like It Black for uh, the 7-inch uh, Soul Vinyl Brunch. Uh, All right. 300 group, DJ Jeff the Illis, Hey Brown, a couple of Hey Brown Girl vendors. That's uh, Some Like It Black. Um, just look up the address over there. What I'm from, what, 43rd and Cottage Grove mm-hmm. in Chicago. We'll be there from 10 to 5, Some Like It Black. Yeah, and, and uh, for those who are looking to uh, get discounts on your hairstyles and your hairstylist, you're looking to get the, you know the best deals on that. Visit HairTakeover.com. They're one of our sponsors. Also, uh, this is Christmas season, so a lot of people want to get their weaves and stuff together for the holidays. VirginVenus.com. They're, they're really awesome. Uh, we work at one of our sponsors, so check them out too. Virgin Venus, Culture Connection, uh, 360. Check them out. Luxury Auto Motors. Chicago Luxury Motors. Chicago Luxury Motors. I mess that up every time. <laughs> Chicago Luxury Motors. You know, get brother it. Brother Andre over there. Tax season is here, so you know, support that's one of the, it's the only black owned car dealership in Chicago that I'm aware of. Mm-hmm. Uh, so definitely support that. And also, if you want to get your podcast, you want to tell your story. Everybody got a story. And you want to control your narrative, it's important to get that message out, do it the right way. And you can do that with the Fresh Air Network. You can be able to do that. We're right on, in Chicago, uh, right here in the low end. Great facility. They got great technology. Y'all see how our stuff looks, and we consistent. So make sure you like the page, Fresh Air Network, air with an E. And le- also leave comments. If y'all like the show, y'all got questions, make sure y'all leave that so y'all so we can we want to respond to those. We want y'all to call in and, <coughs> and wanna if re- anybody wanna be a guest or have anybody some topic to that we wanna feedback, suggestions, yeah. 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 And I just wanna thank uh thank you guys, first sure. of all, for, for, for the consistency. That's one thing. Second thing is um uh I I wanna thank the the folks who have supported me. Um, we're creating Fresh Air Network because it is a concept that's new, but they knew that the bigger picture was to get the story out. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to continue to do, and I'm excited about 2017. I have some great things that's coming up that is going to enhance the individuals that's on the show, the individuals that's looking at the show, and more importantly, uh, where we're going as a whole. So, yeah, just thank you. 2016 was great, and I, I feel like this year just flew by because it's only a couple more weeks. A couple more weeks. What y'all got for done. New Year's? Anybody got anything planned for New Year's? I'm there. Turn up. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm still, I'm still, uh, I haven't even thought about it yet. I'm still in hustle mode, grind mode, you know, looking to, to grind. So many people spending money. So that's, I'm yeah. just thinking about making money. Yeah. yeah. You know what yeah. they say? If you're not thinking about 2017 right now, you mm-hmm. are already behind. True. So, yeah. Need to be working that yeah. plan. And it's good to do stuff now because it gives you momentum mm-hmm. going into the new year. As you know, as business owners, uh, come really after November, after Thanksgiving, things slow down in some capacity, especially when it comes to business. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Some things speed up mm-hmm. based off of whatever profession or products that you're selling because it's, you know, it's a product-driven right. uh, time. But if you don't, it's, it's an opportunity for you to jumpstart your new year right now there and it's, it's it builds momentum and it ha- helps you because let's face it really nobody's gonna really mess around with you until like the second second week in january we third week in january maybe so you want to do some things to sustain yourself up until that point or help advance um, enhance it so no i appreciate you guys coming 
and uh, doing the show. And um, I think when does Trump get in office? The 20th? Is it January 20th? January 20th. Somewhere January 20 something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know. So, yeah, so that, that's just a sign to be on point. I mean, it, it, it shouldn't stop you from doing anything, but you just want to be extra on point, you know, as you see uh, more challenges come because things are changing. Mm. All right. Cool. All right. Well, we out. Peace. Out. Next Wednesday, same time, same, time, same place. <laughs>